How would you approach a mathematical problem which requires a lot of prerequisites to learn and then come back to the study? Now, this is a very common problem for those who are learning either mathematics or physics. And when you open up a book, you see, oh my goodness, I have to first learn this, 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 and then I can only learn this subject. So what is the approach? How would you study? Will you study the entire mathematics and consume up maybe one year or two years time and then come back to study? Or is there a way out? Is there a shortcut out? In this video, I'm going to tell you a very unconventional or you can say a non-conventional approach to study mathematics or physics and you're going to enjoy which is going to make the current learning effective and it I am going to give you a tip and a trick which will make the current learning easier and you really don't have to spend a huge amount of time in learning everything. My name is Shaunak. And you're watching this video on my channel, Physics for Students, a warm welcome. Now, we have seen in the recent past that Gilbert Strang, one of the pioneer in terms of linear algebra, has retired from MIT and the social media was taken in storm. We all watched the last lecture of Gilbert Strang in MIT. I've also put it on my Instagram and LinkedIn profile. Now you see that Gilbert Strang has been one of the greatest teachers of linear algebra. I'm just saying when we talk of linear algebra, we think of Gilbert Strang. Now you see that entire lifespan has been spent on learning and teaching one subject, only one subject, which is linear algebra. Now today you open up a book, maybe on calculus, topology, differential ge geometry, or even quantum mechanics. And you see, oh my goodness, in order to learn quantum mechanics, I have to learn linear algebra, I have to learn differential equation, I have to learn probability and many other things, including wave mechanics. How would you approach? Now see, there is one conventional way of understanding or doing this that is called, you first undergo a complete course in mathematics, a complete course in physics, etc. And then you start studying either quantum mechanics or even maybe calculus or topology. So you see, I get a lot of, uh, I would say, uh, you know, requests from the subscribers in my WhatsApp and the channel is that, sir, tell me what are the prerequisites that we need to learn. And I also have made a lot of videos on prerequisites of quantum mechanics, differential geometry, topology, relativity and everything. But you see what happens is that I have seen that the student starts to lose the interest. And it is quite wise because nowadays we are in a very fast moving world where we directly want to uh, come to the solution. So yes, it is very good that you learn the entire mathematics, take a full complete one or a two years course in learning the basics and then you can come back. But there is also a way out. And in this video, I'm going to tell you what is that way out. Say, for example, we are willing to learn quantum mechanics and I open the book of quantum mechanics and I see, okay, so first of all, what I need to know is linear algebra. Now the question to you is that how much amount of linear algebra? Is it that I will spend the next 20 years in learning linear algebra? Certainly not. That means I will continue learning quantum mechanics and I will just pause in that place of quantum mechanics where the matrices of linear algebra needs to be learned. I will go back to my linear algebra book. I will understand matrices, operations, then you can come back. Then again, we proceed with quantum mechanics. Somewhere we find that we need to understand what is a probability distribution. We can go back to statistics. We learn what is probability distribution and then come back. Now, hold on. You might criticize me that it is taking up a huge amount of time and this back and forth, back and forth, back and forth is causing a disturbance. But you see, there is one thing which is very good and uh, that is an advantage of this kind of a learning. The advantage is that when you are doing a specific learning, say for example, quantum mechanics or any other subject, then before doing that, if you again have to go back there and you have to study and then come back, then what is going to happen is that students starts losing interest. They think that I have got no objective. I cannot see quantum mechanics or geometry or calculus in front of me. This teacher is just teaching me everything about that. So I would suggest that you can always take this approach. You can open up the current book which you want. You can start studying the subject and wherever I, I need to say, obviously it is not that you absolutely don't know mathematics. 
you know mathematics are definitely up to a certain level but what you do is that you can again go back what is required for that specific scope of study you go back learn and come back again you go forward you get stuck up in somewhere again you go back learn and come back so in this method of learning the biggest advantage is that you are not losing a motivation you're constantly with the subject either it is calculus differential geometry topology quantum mechanics relativity um, uh, thermodynamics anything this is one second is that because we are concerned with a discipline which is far more applicable to the industry rather than doing a pure mathematical research we would only want that part of mathematics which is required not an exhaustive learning throughout the lifetime now you say i know calculus no come on you would might take an entire life to really really understand the depth of calculus now is it worthwhile that we spend 20 years in learning calculus next 20 years in learning probability or 10 years or so and we see that pure mathematicians do spend a lot of time in only learning a specific subject it is okay for them why because they are doing pure mathematics they, it has got no direct industry application so it is okay for them to undergo for years after years only a specific discipline but for people like us, I mean to say those, the students who are listening to this video or anybody who wants to apply the rules of mathematics or apply the rule of quantum mechanics or any physics like that, then it is always worthwhile to learn that portion which is applicable and you continue learning that. You know, I was talking to my father a few days back also. He was saying that uh, there is a difference between the learning of an engineer versus a pure mathematician because he is an engineer from IIT Kanpur. So engineer only learns that portion which is applicable and we will not use those portion which will take years and years in order to understand the pure part of it. So I would just, I just thought that this came as an idea. I would, I just wanted to share with you that if you are into a subject which requires a huge amount of prerequisites, but most importantly, that subject is not a, not a pure mathematical research, but a subject which is directly applicable to the industry, directly applicable to the, uh, to, to solving the problems on the practical world, then really you don't need to understand everything about probability, linear algebra, calculus, trigonometry, not required. So you only need that portion which will serve your purpose. So I would, I would coin this word, serve your purpose. So one part of mathematics and physics is serving the purpose. The second is just for research. You need to select which one you want. So in this video, what I was, I'm trying to explain is that if you're into a mathematical or physics study, which is just serving the purpose, then really you don't need to learn everything about prerequisites which level of linear algebra no level of linear algebra you just learn to learn linear algebra which is required to understand that portion of quantum mechanics you will see in the due process you learned a lot of linear algebra you learned a lot of probability you learned a lot of other things calculus partial differential equations but if i take the pure mathematics part and go deep into partial differential equations oh my goodness it takes almost two three years only to learn pdes because each subject in mathematics is so huge, so vast. So I would request you to, you can try of this approach that learn only that portion which is required to serve the purpose. Because we also, because that won't serve the purpose, that won't fetch us a job or that won't solve the query of today. So let us learn that portion which is required and the due process of going back and forth, back and forth, you will see that you learn, you know linear algebra or trigonometry or calculus much better than others. So we can learn that portion and again come back so we won't lose motivation. We would complete our syllabus in maybe before time and we will see there is a kind of an objective in front of us which is the thing that we are learning. Yes, we are going back only to those things which are required to serve the purpose, nothing else. So I hope I made this point clear. You let me know what do you think. Do you want a conventional study approach to really serve your purpose? And then you can move, move ahead with your study and thereby you can understand everything and you get a specific direction and complete the study and learning in a comprehensive manner. Let me know what you think in the comment box. 
please click on the bell icon to get all the notification from students oh i forgot you need to subscribe to my channel physics for students thank you for watching this video i will be waiting for your comments which way or which study approach you would prefer put it in the comment box because that also would be my way of new learning from you thank you very much for watching this video thank you for watching this video we appreciate your time and patience if you want to connect with us and provide further feedback, comment or suggestions, please email us at contact.physicsforstudents at gmail.com. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram and LinkedIn. See you soon in the next video.